So this is a Swift Ace Diplomat. We're just going to take you through the control panel inside the van to start with. Above the door, when you've got your mains power connected, you're going to come inside and hit the power switch. And as you can see here, it indicates to me that the power post and the caravan has power going between the two. If you're connected to the car, the orange light here will appear and the green light will appear on the caravan and you'll bring up your vehicle leisure, uh, vehicle battery on this side, power coming from the car that is. And then on this side it will bring up your leisure battery. The view levels here will also bring up the levels on both sides. To fill the water system on this particular van, you go underneath the seat at the front of the van and you go underneath the seat. And just down underneath the seat there's a yellow valve just here and when it's parallel with the floor you can fill the water system. When you lift that valve up, it'll actually drain the water system down, and we do advise doing this after every use of the caravan, so it doesn't leave stagnant water in the tank, or if it's colder time of the year, the water system doesn't freeze and crack the hot water tank at the front and the pipe work going to it. When you are draining down the system, we do advise that you open the taps up in the centre of the hot and cold, so it lets the air through the pipes and drains the water back down to the drain valve. So, as I said, to fill the water system with that valve in the position it's in now, You'll come over to the taps on each point of the caravan. Open them all up on the hot side. This van will have water in it already at the moment, so you may hear some spitting and splattering out. We haven't got it connected to a water connection at the moment. You'll flick the taps open, and the same on the shower also. I'm not going to open, I'm not going to open them fully at the moment. Because like I said, we're not actually filling the water system. But we'll come over with your aqua roll connected and your water uh, pump connected. You'll come over to the water pump switch above the door. Hit the button just here and the water pump will start pumping the water through the system. When the pressure is built up, as you can see, the water will start coming out of the taps, and when it's running continuously out of every tap on the caravan, you can shut the valves down, and at that point, you can go to your hot water control, heating and hot water control panel. So to the left of the main control panel above the door, you've got your Truma control panel for the blown air heating. You press the central button here, and on this side here, you've got your internal temperature for the caravan. So you can select the amount of temperature you want by spinning the dial round. So right up to 30 if you wish to. I'm not going to set it up now. I'm just going to set it at 10 degrees. Press the central button and that will set the temperature of the inside of the caravan. Next across with your water system full. So you spin the dial left to right to go through the different options. You hit the button and then you've got your option to run your hot water. So you've got 40 degrees, 60 degrees or boost if you're showering. So you can select which temperature you want, and to select that again, you press the central button and that will set the temperature. I'm going to leave that off for now because I'm not sure fully how much water is in the system. Next one across here is the amount of power you're using inside the caravan. So you've got gas on its own, so that will run the heating and hot water on just solar gas. Mix 1, which is gas and 1000 watts of power. Mix 2, which is 2000 watts of power and gas at the same time. Electric 1, which is 1000 watts of electric coming into the caravan. And electric 2 is 2000 watts of power coming to the caravan. I'm going to set it on the one for now. Next across you've got your fan speed for your blown air. You've got eco, high on this particular van so you select whichever one you want it to be. If you want it to be eco you press the button and it will set it to eco. At the bottom here in the manual it will explain a bit more about these. If I went through these fully it would take about three hours to go through. The one here is to set timers for the heating and hot water. You've got your clock and then your engineer settings in the end. Just going to stop the video at this point so I can get ready for the next part of the handover. To run the fridge on this caravan, you press the mains power button on the end and the fridge will turn on. As you can see, the fridge has now come live. Just here, you've got your option to run the heating on, uh, the fridge on gas. It will self-ignite on gas and you've got your temperature for the fridge on the left, on the right hand side. To change the power supply you want to use, sorry, if it fails to ignite, it will actually bleep and flash the green light at you here to let you know it's failed to ignite on gas. To change the power supply, you press and hold the grey button, and as you'll see, the symbol here has now started flashing, and then you use the arrows to change the power supply. So you've got your 12 volt from your car there, so you can use the fridge as a cool box, and then you've got your 240 main supply if you wish to use mains as a power source. Whichever power source you're on, you press the grey button, and then once it starts flashing the temperature level on the right hand side, you can select the temperature by going down or up on the arrows. To set it, again you just press the middle button and the fridge is set and so is the temperature. With the cooker, three ring hob. If for any reason you're trying to ignite any part of the caravan on gas and you haven't got a gas flow going to um, the fridge for instance, it could mean the gas bottle's empty, 
or it could mean that there's air in the lines and what we'd advise you to do is, is to turn the gas bottle on at the front of the van and then go to your hob and ignite the hob so you start getting gas through to every component on the van. The reason for this is the hob is generally the last point of the gas system. You have got an igniter on the front, you've got your grill and your oven below. You've got the bed at the back of the van which does lift up um, so you've got storage underneath and the bed does pull out uh, more this way so you can actually have a longer bed and then the back piece of the cushion there will drop down in the gap at the back. For the toilet system it's an electric flush on here and then at the back of the uh, underneath the toilet you've actually got your grey waste flap to allow the waste into the cassette under the van. We go on to the outside of the van now and just point out the main features. So you've got your motor mover and wheels, we'll demonstrate the motor mover while you're here on site and we'll also torque the wheel nuts so you can see they've been tightened correctly. You've got your storage lockers going around the van and your wind down legs at the back of the caravan, as you'd expect to see, one on each side at the back. You've then got your toilet flush system tank here which takes three and a half litres of water and a cap full of the pink fluid. And then you've got your waste cassettes, toilet waste cassettes at the bottom which takes one litre of water and a cap full of the blue fluid. You've then got your grey waste pipes coming out the side of the van, which go down into your waste master. Again, you've got your wheel and motor mover, which as I talked about on the other side. You've then got your mains power lead coming into the side of the caravan, and your, main, uh, and your 110 amp battery in the side there. Your water pump will connect just here, into the side of the van. There's a blue trigger on the pump that you pull back, and then push into the side of the van. At the bottom on this side, same as the other side, you've got your wind down leg also and then you've got your Truma blown air vents. You don't need to take the cover off what you used to with the older style vans. In the front locker, you've got your water pump connection there, gas bottle tie downs, and your gas regulator at the top. Then you've also got your hitch, uh, hitch etc on the front of the van, which will demonstrate how this works when you're here in person. If you have any further questions on the Swift Ace Diplomat, please do give us a call here at the Caravan Company and we'll do all we can to assist you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.